All eyes are on North Carolina as we're exactly two weeks out from Election Day, and we know how important this swing state is to the presidential election. But one race that's not expected to be particularly close is getting a lot of national attention. Queen City News reporter Caroline Boyer shares why the fight for the state Senate District 37 is making headlines. The day I filed to run for office, I knew I was going to lose. It's not what you typically hear from candidates running for office, but Kate Barr believes if she's going to lose, she might as well have a little fun. The Democrat and political newcomers website is called KateBarrCan'tWin.com. Her slogan, clear eyes, full hearts, can't win. I'm running because I think gerrymandering is wrong. And I want to call attention to that. And I'm also running because I think it's really important that people see two names on their ballot. She lives in a district Republicans redrew late last year, which includes all of Iredell County and parts of northern Mecklenburg, and now favors the GOP. It's not a credible concern. I mean, when you look at Iredell County and the communities surrounding it, Cornelius and Davidson are just communities of interest, and that's what the Stevenson ruling has told us and the Supreme Court has told us for many years now is that we have to draw districts proportionally according to the Constitution, and we need to include communities of interest. Barr's opponent, incumbent Republican Vicki Sawyer, tells me she's glad Barr is giving voters a choice, but she's focused on what's ahead. This race is about real people with real problems and how we're going to help North Carolina. It's the first time we're seeing these new maps in an election. Experts tell me it could have a big effect on this year's outcome. Currently, we have a 7-7 congressional district seven, uh, delegation, seven Republicans, seven Democrats. With these new maps that are going into effect this year, it looks like Republicans will pick up at least three districts, giving them 10. Democrats are slated to win three districts, and there's going to be one district in the northeastern part of the state that is truly competitive. We need an independent commission, and that means we need people who are not partisan to be drawing the maps.